first stunt is to make Neil believe he's on a real TV show and to lull him into a false sense of security. Okay. Right, John, I gotta get somebody to give you a massage. Come on up, come on up, come on up. A handsome man Can like I yourself. Can I give you a proper good massage? Squeeze of the ass, everything. Give me a little bit of massage there. Oh, it's so good. So oh, Tell him yeah. to lower, lower, groan. Yeah, really good. enjoy it. Ah, oh, yeah. Yes, you've done it! Thank you. So now he's convinced he's on a TV show, it's time for the main stunt, and it's about to go a bit wrong. I gotta make John hold up a shop using a banana for a gun. I really am not happy about this, but... Oh, come on, you can do this. It's acting. This is your profession. You can do it. Yeah. All right, okay. There's a gym this egg. Let me see you. I'm going, I'm going. Shut up, shut up, I'm going. You're so in there. Are you a normal customer? Hi. Have a look around. Check out where the cameras are. Make the guy feel really nervous. <laughs> can I help you, Tom? Um, I'm just, uh, looking for something for my mother. Pull the banana out of your pocket. Deuce, deuce. Hold it to his face. Get him, get him. Get the most expensive jewellery out of the cabinet now. OK. I need all your money and all of the jewellery now. Say, get it out, get it out. Shout him. Shout. Shout him. Get it for me now. Yes, yes. The, Quick! The, Turn and get the safe open now. The valuables are all, all in the safe. OK, 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 uh, just do it, just do key? it! Can I get the keys? Yeah, just quickly, keys. quickly, okay, quickly. I'm getting the keys now. Quickly! Fuck you, ah! son! Carly in the audience tonight. Neil, Carly, where are you? Stand up, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it was absolutely... Br I mean, I, didn't, I couldn't see that any of the reactions, but that was, you actually were genuinely shocked, weren't you? Yeah, as soon as I seen a gun, I thought, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for being stitched up, and thank you, Carly, for <laughs> letting them be stitched up. <laughs> oh, thank you. OK. It's back to me time. <laughs> it's time for Ask Me Anything. <laughs> okay, this is the part of the show where anyone anywhere gets to ask John Barrowman literally anything. So let's start here in the studio. Put your hands up, please. And we're going to take a question from Kelly Harris. Kelly, where are you? Hi, Kelly. What was your question? Uh, Doctor Who and Torchwood fans can be pretty full on. So, have you ever been sent anything you wish you hadn't? <laughs> I've, a I've actually, uh, yes, and I haven't been sent it. I've, I was actually given it at a convention. And uh, they took, uh, there's a photograph that they use for Doctor Who where I'm riding a uh, uh, missile. And Captain Jack is on the missile. And this uh, gentleman dressed as a Klingon <laughs> uh, brought this box. <laughs> brought this box. And it had me sitting on what would have been a missile, but he had a vibrator or a dildo underneath it. <laughs> and he gave, it was actually a vibrator. And he called it the John Barrowman vibrator. And he gave this to me. And I took it home to my partner and showed Scott. I said, look what people are coming up with. <laughs> he said, and he said well, who gave that to you? I said, a Klingon. He said, get fucking rid of it. They're filthy. <laughs> Uh, John, we actually have a question from the doctor himself. Oh, have a look cool. at this. Hello, John. I've got a question for you. Justin, Alan, and me marry, shag, throw off a cliff. Oh, Answer very carefully. <laughs> it's a classic. Marry, shag, or throw off a cliff. Come on. We know you're honest. You have to do this. Go there. Oh, this is awful. <laughs> oh, terrible. Don't cliff me, John. Don't cliff me. <laughs> Please don't cliff me, John. Okay. Shag me. Shag me, John. Shag me. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, I'd have to shag David because his nickname's David Ten Inch. <laughs> I'm fucking getting drift. I'm getting drift. Oh my god, I'm gonna buy a hat. I'm gonna buy a hat. I'd have to, I'd have to marry Alan because I'm sure he'd keep a clean house. Oh. <laughs> Justin, I'd have to cliff you because your hair's bigger than mine. I think that's a good size. But if it makes you feel any better, I'd shag you before I cliff you. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> I know, but buy me a present for the wedding before you do go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's take another question. Put your hands up. Uh, the lady on the far left, second tier, what was your name, love? Lucy. Hi, Lucy. What was your question, please? Do you have a quota for the number of times you get your knackers out in a week? And if so, have you met it? And if not, can you do it now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a quota, and I haven't met it yet. No, 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 no. my manager will be back in the green room freaking out. No, I'm not gonna get it. I can't, I... It. What? Oh. Can we see your ass instead, then? You wanna see my ass? Yeah. Thrown out. She's fucking dirty. <laughs> dirty. So is your nackers, your ass. It's not this kind of show. <laughs> Go to Yates's. Thanks for your question. Nice tush. Thank you. <laughs> dirty Jim will fix it, this, isn't it? <laughs> okay, let's take another question. Put your hands. Uh, the lovely blonde haired lady there with the white vest. Hello, my love. What was your name? Kate. Hi, Kate. What was your question? We know you're openly gay, but have you ever had a woman? <laughs> um, uh, I'll say I've, I've done quite a few things and experimented and uh, I've always said that if I were ever to want to have children the right way I'd obviously either have to have it artificially or actually do it and uh, I do have a, a friend who is in the business and she said that she would have it with me if oh I wanted God. to. Oh my God, is it Cher? Yeah. <laughs> I think she's well past it. Denise Van Outen. No, it's not Denise. Actually, that's not a bad idea. No. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for your questions. Thank you all for your questions. Great. Thank you. Okay, after the break, I'll be trying to win one lucky audience member some fantastic prizes. First, though, I have to choose that person. John, we want you to pick the person that looks most like a Torchwood alien. <laughs> So if John picks you, it means he thinks that you look like someone with too many eyes and a massive head. <laughs> Bad times. But you do get the chance to win loads of fantastic prizes. Good times. John, off you go. <laughs> Find out who John chooses after the break. Also coming up after the break, the Coral Play Live. I've done it with them, all of them. Yeah, and they loved it. Welcome back to the climax of the Friday Night Project. Before the break, we asked John to choose the audience member who he thought looked most like a Torchwood alien. John, who have you chosen? <laughs> the winner is you! <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? James. Come on down, James. It's time to play the John Bowman Big Fun Game Show. <laughs> Welcome to the John Bowman Big Fun Game Show, where John gets to play big fun games to win big fun prizes for James. Where's James? He's on the prize wheel. <laughs> How do you feel, mate? Um, I don't know what to say. Uh. 